So uh, for fast and elegant UI development in React, we generally prefer popular UI libraries and design. Created by Chinese conglomerate Alibaba, this design system is used by several big names. Alibaba, of course, Tencent, Baidu, and more. Hey, welcome to TechX. My name is Vineet, and today I'm going to introduce you Ant Design. In this topic, we will cover overview of the design system and available components in it. We will see the installation process of Ant Design in React project. Uh, we will go through the advanced configuration for theme customization, and last, a small demo for the output result. So in this session, we will go through the Ant documentation in details, and we'll check the output result. So uh, while Material UI is the most popular React uh, UI library with over 75K stars on GitHub, and design is now became first among the libraries with 77.5k stars on GitHub. So uh, as I have already mentioned this, and design is the most popular React UI, UI library uh, that has access of easy to use components that are useful for building elegant user interfaces. So now coming to the components level, we will see what components are available in the and design to build, build a quick and elegant design. Also, you can visit uh, below URL to see all the available components in the design system. So here I've added some of the available examples for each section, uh, starting with uh, universal components, which has button, icons, typography, et cetera. Uh, then uh, layouts uh, that has grids, layout system, spacing. Uh, then uh, we have navigation groups, uh, that includes uh, breadcrumbs, drop downs, main navigations. We have data entry components like checkboxes, autocomplete, like form elements. And also we have data display components. So here we can easily use these available components according to the requirement. So uh, now we know uh, what AND design is and what components are available. Now we will see the basic installation process of React and then installing Ant in it. So uh, to install uh, the project, React project, we can uh, you know, def use default uh, Yarn or NPM to set up the project. So after installation, uh, you can see the running app in the browser. We will see the demo at end of the uh, presentation. So uh, this is the default uh, generated directory in the new created project in React. Going forward, we are going to do some modifications of the files here to achieve the final output. So after React setup, we have to install the ant design in it uh, using the following command like yarn add or npm add uh, install ant design. After installing, uh, we, uh, we can use uh, you know the uh, ant components uh, by modifying the app.js in it. So you can see uh, we have app.js inside the SRC folder in the previous screenshot. And you can see that app.js is there. So uh, in below code, you can see like I'm importing a button element from Ant and uh, using the markup button like type primary, I'm using primary button in this uh, application to test. So once you use this uh, element uh, in that Ant, you can see uh, the browser uh, you can save and run the app. Like you can see the blue button that, that means it uh, Ant is successfully integrated in React now. So best part, Ant design allows you to customize our design to token uh, to satisfy UI diversity from business or brand requirements, including primary colors, border radius, border colors, et cetera. Et cetera. So to allow this customization, we need to do some advanced configuration. So at this point, uh, we need to customize the default configuration of create React app. So here we use Krako, a community solution for custom configuration of create React app. Uh, we can use um, uh, other uh, uh, JS also like we can modify WebKit or uh, uh, web config JSON, but here I'm using Krako. So for this first install Krako and replace the default React script with Krako in package.json. So according to the requirement of configuring the theme, the custom theme needs to use the less variable override function similar to provide the less loader. We can introduce Krako less to help load less styles and modify variables. 
So now we are installing uh, Cracko less to use the less variables in the end design. So once uh, Cracko dot less installed, we have to modify uh, the app dot CSS to app dot less, and we can we have to import uh, and dot less file over and dot CSS. Now we are not using any CSS anymore. We are using less file. So one more uh, uh, thing uh, we have to create one Cracko dot config dot JS in root directory uh, to modify the default configuration. So uh, in below code, you can see I'm, I have uh, modified primary color variable in modify bars with some hash color code uh, that is similar to green. So once you modify that color, primary color, just save and restart the app uh, after modifying. So you can use uh, either npm start or yarn start. So uh, after uh, application run, if you see a green button, so the, that means the configuration is su successful. Now we can customize the theme with our own color set using tokens variables provided. So uh, below are some of the most you know, commonly used generic variables that is available in uh, Ant design. And also you can visit the, you know, that uh, link here link to check all the variable styles available in the Ant uh, design system. So this is the complete presentation. Now let's uh, review the project directory, what I have you know, uh, added in the presentation. So uh, do some live changes and see the output. So this is the Ant design and I have uh, I've already uh, set, I've done two setup of one having already, you know, all the configuration in it. Like you can see a green button here and one a default uh, react on without any configuration or a blue button. So we can follow the steps what you've added in the presentation and we'll see the output. So in the documentation, uh, we have the, all the process here. So now starting with the Krako, like uh, I'm going with the advanced configuration because I've already uh, done the setup of a default React with the Ant design in it. So first uh, I will try to you know uh, show you what the you know how the configuration file looks like so that it will be easy to understand first. So you can see I've uh, after installation of Krako and less we have conf config uh, Krako dot config dot js what I've added is uh, like told in configuration. So here is the you know snippet where I've added and modified the primary color. Also in SRC in app.js, I've imported the less file and I've, had, I've uh, added the uh, button element here. And I've changed that app.css to app.less where I've imported the less files. So just, uh, just a live demo in the other project what I've already set up. So I'm just uh, adding Krako in it. So it's already installed now. So in package.json, I have to you know modify this uh, script with um, Krako instead of React script. So I will go to package.json. I will replace this with. Now for using a less compiler, I will use a Krako less package. Now in, uh, you can modify that Krako config with our code. So you can modify your primary colors and other variables here, just uh, adding another variable. I will show you after checking this. This is done and we'll import. 
Now in SRC, uh, we will use app.list. We'll rename app.css as app.list. And we'll import some default, uh, you know, style files given in uh, given by Ant Design. So we'll copy these two basic default provided style. Now I will click this. Yarn start. So meanwhile, uh, page loading. So I will show you what components else components are available here. Here's the, you know, uh, you can see all the components, you know, component menu. Like we have uh, this, all the layouts, uh, navigations, all the available components, what is uh, used in a basic, you know, layout. So if you go to uh, layouts, you can see all the you know basic structure layout what is available in uh, and design. We can be easily you know uh, we have easily available codes that we can just uh, just open the code section and we can import all the available elements and components and just we have to copy uh, the markup and we can use it. So yeah, the page is loaded and you can see this color is uh, now uh, green. So just, I'm just changing the color once again for just for retest. I'm using now a red color. And rest, so every, after configuring the config.js, you have to restart the application to see the changes. So uh, there's using and design in React, uh, we can very easily, you know, uh, uh, create a, you know, layout with, you know, customizing colors uh, easily available uh, in that, you know, like variables to modify over by overriding the variables in and. So that's it. So uh, if anyone, any question right now? So you can see now button red. So uh, now and design is, uh, successfully installed with uh, advanced configuration to change the colors. Thank you. Any questions? Hi guys, thank you for watching. I had an amazing time learning all the new things here at SpecBeast TechX. And if you did too, do let us know in the comments below. Keep following SpecBeast for the latest trends in technology. See you in the next one.